All right, we have a bike lock here. This is a Bell bike lock. This is just a cheap one you find like at Walmart, but we've had this for a couple years and haven't remembered the combination, so it's been floating around. So we were kind of determined to figure out how to get the combination. So uh, after reading a few tips, uh, this is kind of how we've been able to solve the code. So if you see here, we're just going to line it up all at once. So the lock pulls out of this end here. So we're going to start here on the left side. We're going to line them up all at one. And if you see here, when we get the... When when you have the... There can be some separation between the numbers. So see here, if I'm pulling the block out, there's a, there can be a slight gap between the numbers. So what I'm going to do is I want to see, I want to see a gap happen to the right of the number I'm trying to solve. So this first one, if I see if I pull one, there's no gap. Okay, if we try two... No gap there. Three. No gap. You want to make sure you're pulling from the here. You're not pulling the cable. This won't pull it out. You want to make sure you're pulling right here. All right, at four. There's a little bit of a there's a little bit of a movement in the. I'm gonna try. Let's go back to five. Five, not really. Six, not that. It shouldn't be on the left. So I think the best one we had was four. Okay, so let's just, we're just gonna leave it at four because that seemed to be the best. So we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna look for the gap here on the right of it, on the right of the number we're looking at. So there's no gap there. Eh, a little on the two. Let's see if there's a better gap. On the four, no, no movement there. Five. Five, that looks like it opens up. It's just open just a little bit. There's just a slight, slight. Let's try six. No, oh, six. I think five was the best bet there, so. Okay, there wouldn't be any separation here because if, if this is correct, this is correct then it would it wouldn't put any pressure on this one so let's do this third dial here all right let's we're going to start here at one okay we think we have the first two four and five so now we're going to try now we're trying to find the third combination remember we're looking to the right the gap to the right of the number that we're trying to figure out so the one, that doesn't show any separation. The two, none. Three, there's none. Four, not, no, no. Oh, there it is there. So you can see right right there, you can see it separating. So I, I think it, that might be it. So now, we know it's not four, five, five, one. Let's try Oh, four five five. Oh, that was it right there. Four five five two. That was the uh, combination. So, so we were able to just to be able to tell. So, see how these uh, these the teeth on these are pulling against the number. So, when you have a correct number, it's pulling to the uh, to the right of the number you have correct. So, this was a way that we were able to help f uh, figure out the combination on this lock. Maybe this will be helpful for you if you have a similar lock. Uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks.